Hello viewers, welcome to the video lecture series on machine learning. In this session, I shall explain one more example on the k nearest neighbor. But this example will be different from the previous ones. The reason is, if you see the algorithm steps for the KNN, there you have observed that if the attribute values are continuous, then you have to make use of the Euclidean distance as the distance matrix. Whereas if the attribute values are categorical or binary, then you have to make use of the Hamming distance. So in this example, I wanted you to also get familiar with an example wherein the values given are categorical values, the binary values like yes, no, true, false. So in this example, I am just making use of the binary values only and let us see how we will make use of the Hamming distance as the distance metric in this example and make use of the KNN algorithm to predict the label. So this is the given data set. So the problem statement is like this, current A sells burger with flavors pepper ginger and chili three flavors are there every day in this week you have tried a burger that means from day one of the week to the fifth day of the week a to e and kept a record of which you liked the label attribute is liked so you are keeping a record of which of the flavors of the burger you liked whatever table i have written here is the will be given in the problem statement a b c d e are the five days of the week pepper ginger chili are the flavors of the burger and now in the problem statement it is asked use Hemming distance to show how 3NN classifier with majority voting would classify pepper value is false ginger value is true chili value is true so this is your test instance and k value is also given k equal to 3 so now the algorithm has to predict the output label whether it is true or false just to make it uh, look little confusing all the attribute values are categorical values only even the attribute values are categorical target label values are also categorical you have to apply here the Hamming distance formula and come out with the output so the procedure to calculate the distance for attributes with nominal or categorical values is as follows let x1 and x2 are the attribute values of two instances test instance and the data set instance so here we are having categorical values so that's why your test instance will have one value okay suppose if it is x1 and your data set instance will have a value it is x2 let us take okay if x1 and x2 are the values of the test instance and the data set instance if x1 is same as x2 then distance is 0 otherwise it is 1 according to the Hamming distance if x1 is same as x2 means what suppose let us take if x1 is yes and x2 is also yes if both are same then the distance computed is 0 if both are different then the distance computed is 1 that means one should be yes and another should be no then we say both are different that time the distance value is 1 so this is how you have to apply for the given data set and the test instance and come out with the output for example also I have written one if x1 value is day and x2 value is day then the distance between x1 and x2 is 0 both are same no day day whereas suppose if the value of x1 is day and x2 is night then the distance between x1 and x2 is 1 logic we have to apply for our given problem and come out with the solution in the problem statement up till here okay the data set values are given now whatever I have written in the last column that is the distance values are a part of the answer. These steps you will get once I explain you the procedure. Okay, up till here are the values given in the data set. The burger flavors are pepper, ginger and chili. This is the target attribute liked. Even those values are also given in binary. False, false, true, true, true. This is what is the data set which is trained to the machine. So this is the training data set. Now, so this is the test instance given. Now, you need to apply the Hamming distance. What I have done is, this problem statement, whatever values were there, I have included one more column with the distance. Because I am using now the Hamming distance to compute the output, I want to write the values. So the steps also I want to write. That's why I am making just a bigger width for this column. Now, let us check one by one. First, let me take the first row. In the first row, I will take the first value. That means the pepper value. So you check here the first row and the first value here. Pepper value is true. Whereas in the test instance, it is false. True and false. If both are different, then the distance computed is 1. 
next we'll move to the next column ginger the value is true here and here in the test instance ginger is also true so true here and true here true true both are same so the distance computed is zero so whatever output you get in each case you have to sum up for chili it is true in the data set instance for the test instance it is true true and true it will be zero same way you compute here for the second row let us move to the second row now so we are having here true and here false both are different so if different you will get one false true it is different so it is one false true it is different you will get one so when you add up all this you are getting three one plus one plus one third row false pepper is false here here pepper is false both are same zero true true both are same zero true true both are same so when you add up it is fourth row pepper false here pepper false both are same you will get zero next true true both are same you will get zero here next chili here false chili here is true both are different then it is one when you add up you will get one last row here pepper true here pepper false true and false both are different one false and true both are different one false and here true both are different you will get when you add up you will have three so what values you got distance values one three zero one three so k value is three means you have to take the top three smaller values top three smaller values this will be one the there is a tie between the next two values both are having one one only so we will write here we got this top three smaller values and the corresponding label is for the distance zero the label is true you can check here for the distance zero the label value is true here for the distance one and for this distance one so there is though the value for the distance is same here one and one but check the corresponding label for one value okay for this one value you are having the label as false whereas for this value of one you are having the val label value as true so same thing you have to write down for one value you are having the label as false for one value you are having the label as true now in this case since it is using the knn algorithm the criteria to predict the label is the majority voting majority out of three two are true and one is false so which is majority true so the test instance whatever was given here pepper false ginger true chili true that belongs to which level true so this is your final output the model will predict the label as true criteria for predicting the label remains same in knn whether you are using the hemming distance or the euclidean distance so i have solved in one session using the euclidean distance and in this session i have solved an example using the hemming distance so when do you use hemming distance and when do you use the euclidean distance in in case where the attribute values are continuous you have to use the euclidean distance and in case where the attribute values are binary or categorical that time you have to make use of the hemming distance this is how the example can be solved if the values of the attributes are categorical hope you find this session helpful please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you bye bye and take care